is the voter register for public inspection as a, a clustered per polling station. Judge Adunga gave the directions in a case in which Africa Center for Open Governance, that's AFRICOG, Director Gladwell Oteno, wanted the IBC compelled to publicize the register. Further, the court declined to stop the IBC from distributing the voter register to returning officers for use in the August 8th election before being subjected to public inspection in reasonable time frame. Now, the court said that there, by doing that, it will be interfering with the preparations for the general election. Seku, this is uh, also uh, very important. Yesterday, the landmark coming just a few, it was four days before the election, today's three days, and uh, the 48 hours is about to elapse. I think it's elapsing tomorrow morning. Um, what are we looking at here? Because on one end, they are asking for the register, on the other, they are telling the court, please stop them from issuing this. Why? Yes, oh, okay. Um, a little bit of history there. Okay. there the, you know, we have this big issue about... Uh, the sacrosanctity of the electoral register by the IABC. And people are saying, we need it to inspect it because some people want to check out of our suspicions and some of them may be justified, others may not be, just political hyperbole, that there could be people there who are themselves either doubly registered, registered on more than one polling station or polling center, or people who are dead altogether, mm -hmm. but whose names remain on the register. Okay. So, the reason for this is that somebody wants to, to be able to inspect so that if I know, for instance, that Seku claims to be registered in Nairobi, but you're also seeing another Seku winner claiming to be registered in Mombasa, then the issue arises. If it's the same national identity card, then the, 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 there's the risk of inflating the number of registered voters. Okay.